I do put my milk before my cereal. Oh my gosh, that's me! So I just put milk, a little bit of cereal, eat that, then put some more cereal, and then I can control how much cereal there is and how like strong and structured it is. I couldn't have said it better myself, because it's me. All right, so here's the thing with this. He, of course, is wrong. You don't do that, ever. Like, I get that he likes the structuredness of the cereal. I mean, I think it's stupid, but... <laughs> That's not it. He's weird. <laughs> it's just so... So dismissive. When I found out I was in a Cody Co. video, I was ecstatic. I've watched Cody for years now and love his stuff, but I had no idea my life would go downhill ever since that video. My friends, they won't even hang out with me, and I can't walk around school without getting called names. Lactose loser, Captain Cringe, Lucky Chumps, Curd Nerd, Fruit Poops. That was a good one, but you know, I think it's time people hear my side of the story. You know, I just, I just want to be a normal person again. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of cereal? Well, for millennia, cereal has been a part of our diets, but pouring the milk before the cereal has been lost to time. Back in the day, it was tradition of the ancient nobility to pour the milk in before the cereal as it symbolized wealth and prosperity. So let's address some of the misconceptions here. Step one, you start off with a bowl of milk, obviously. Step two, you take your favorite cereal and you pour it on top of the milk so it's nice and crunchy. Then you eat the cereal while it's still crunchy and you're left with step three, a bowl of milk. If you're still hungry, you can just go back to step two, pour more cereal in while it's still crunchy and just eat that and repeat. But if you're full, you can stop, take your bowl of milk and just drink it because like that's the best part when the milk's got all the sugary goodness in it. You can just lap it up like a cat and you're done. It's the best of both worlds. Now here's the interesting part. If you were to put your cereal before your milk, you're just starting at step two and then going to step three. And if you're still hungry after that, you just pour more cereal in, which is essentially having your milk before your cereal. So at the end of the day, it's kind of the same thing. So doctor, what are your thoughts on this whole milk before cereal debate? That's a good question. You see, I always tell my patients, you are what you eat. But time and time again, patients come in with weak bones and weak morale. Strength starts with breakfast, and if your cereal is soggy, you will be too. But when you pour the milk in first, you retain the structure that is integral for your strength and overall health. I think I'm ready to go back to the spot where I did that interview, where this whole debacle began. You know, and to see someone I've looked up to for years trample on my opinion, well, it's heartbreaking. But I'm reminded more than ever of the importance of standing up for what you believe in. And I, I hope to remind others of that too. Get a shot of me walking away. All right, Cody Coco Puffs. I think it's time we finally put this to rest. I challenge you to make cereal my way and tell me what you honestly think. Well, actually, maybe don't do that. I don't think my heart can take you roasting me again, but this is a ton of fun to make. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And in the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this whole debate. I hope you have a wonderful day. And this is Captain Crunch signing off.